Thanks for joining us today. I'm Gabe Garish, owner of Backwoods Pursuit, and today we're going to take a look at the new Koa TSN 88mm spotting scope. Koa recently came out with some updates to their 88mm spotter, so I'm going to go over the differences, what's different between the older one here, which I've got the older model, as well as the new one here, so we can look at what is different about this, what changes they made, so you can determine if it's something you want to upgrade to, or if you maybe find a good deal on an older one, if that's something that's going to work for you as well. So I really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Got tons of gear reviews over on the website as well. Go check that out. I'll put links to all that down in the description, as well as a link to the Koa TSN 88mm spotting scope so you can check it out for yourself if it's something that you're interested in. Let's dive into this review. All right, so as you may have heard recently, Koa updated their 88 millimeter spotting scope. I've got the old one here, the TSN 883 and the new TSN 88A. So they've changed the name just a little bit. It used to be 883 and 884 for the angled and the, and the straight. Now it's the 88A and the 88S if you want the angled or the straight. Kind of makes the naming convention a little bit easier to follow uh, as far as if you're looking into a new Koa. Now cosmetically, you can probably tell they added a, a black section here, rubberized section up on the top. Kind of makes it a little more pleasant uh, to your hands and whatnot uh, to, to grab that portion of it. It's kind of a, a nice looking uh, upgrade there of no consequence really to the functionality, but it does look kind of nice. Part of that change here is the, the button on the older one. If you're wanting to change out this lens here, it's a button right there, and then you just go ahead and, and take that off there. Whereas the new one, it's a little bit different, a little more a little not quite as flush as the other one. It sticks out a little bit more. So if you wanted to change that out, uh, the button is just a little bit different on that as well. You can probably tell by looking at this as well, you've got the collar here. If you want the rotation collar, so you've got the, the ability to rotate this uh, on, a, on a tripod like that. Nice to find clicks as uh, the same as uh, the older one here. But the older one had a black collar here, whereas now on a newer one, it blends right in with the rest of the body. No real difference in, in that nice and defined clicks that way. Now, another change is in the eyepiece cover that comes with it. Uh, one of the things that frustrates me about the older one here is that this eyepiece comes off really, really easy. It, it won't stay on in your pack. So you're always digging it out of your pack if you even take it. Either that or you have to come up with some other option. Uh, the newer one, they fixed that. This one stays on really quite nicely. It takes a little bit to get that off. And you can even see it leaves marks on the eye cups uh, right there because it really does stick on there nicely. So we're super glad that they corrected that. That was one of the frustrations that I had with this, with the older model. Uh, the, the new eyepiece here, they changed slightly. Not that it, you can still swap them out one or the other, but some of the markings on here changed. So if you uh, want to use this for the 99 millimeter, it's got the markings on the top here because it's 25 to 60 with the 88 millimeter model, model here. Now, if you put this eyepiece on the 90, you got a 30 to 70 uh, type of a spotter. So that gives you those markings for both models. So you can use this eyepiece for either one now. Now, one other change here on the sunshade, and this is, again, just a totally a cosmetic change here. Uh, this is going to be something where you've got the, the little markings here, to uh, the alignment markings, and they added almost like a, a, a iron sights of a rifle here to make that a little bit easier to line that up if you wanted to go ahead and do that. Uh, sometimes the angle spotters can be a little bit tricky or a little difficult until you get used to it. Uh, to line up an object you're looking to trying to look at something a ways away so that does help a little bit there now flipping these over on the un underneath side you'll notice there's a different foot here that attaches to the tripod so we'll lay that guy there and as you can see it's a different shape and whatnot neither of one of these uh, are arca it would kind of be nice if that was an arca uh, an arca direct compatible but it's not but one of the things you'll notice here the new one uh, versus the old one here. This new one has two different, uh, it's threaded in two different spots. So it, it gives you more ability to mount this uh, centered on your tripod if you want to. So if you need to move that forward or backwards a little bit, it gives you more ability to make this uh, centered on your tripod or set up however you need to. So that is kind of nice. The foot overall is a little bit bigger uh, than the old, old one here. And the old one just has the one stud there that's threaded for your tripod. 
Now I want to a change in the eyepieces here that I feel like is significant here. Of course, I mentioned it's the, the cover is, is much improved, stays on there a lot better. Uh, the older one here has a real nice free flowing eye, uh, eye the clicks on the eyepiece uh, and you have a five position click stop, but it flows really quite easy. It's not, it's not bad, but it ha could have a tendency to move on your pack on the, in your pack when you're out in the field using it. The newer one here, as is definitely more rigid and it has more resistance to move. It takes more of an effort to move to each of those clicks, uh, but you only have four uh, positions rather than the five. So it's a little bit different that way. I definitely prefer the new eyepiece uh, here because that those really defined clicks, it's not gonna move nearly as easy. You have to really uh, intentionally move this to move it, but it's still very, very smooth. So I definitely like that, uh, the extra resistance in the new eyepiece. And um, again, the, the previous one was just fine, but not, uh, not quite as good in, in my experience in using these that it, it did move a little bit on me a little bit too easily for my taste. So I really like that upgrade as well on the eyepiece. I, uh, it's kind of a bummer you lose that extra eye position or a click position on the new one, but I don't think it's really of much consequence here. The, the functionality is still going to be nearly identical. Now, as far as weight on the new Koa TSN 88mm spotting scope, the eyepiece is weighed out exactly the same between the two. The, the body did save a little bit of weight, and you saved one ounce on the new model, which is not a lot, but it is something, especially when you get into a large spotting scope like this, where you may be packing this for, say, a western mule deer hunt or something of that nature, where you need to reach out a long ways. Every ounce matters, especially when you add in that tripod and the head to support something like this uh, that is uh, this large of an, of an optic. So you save one ounce there, comes in at 66.7 ounces. This one weighs in at 67.7 ounces. So exactly one ounce in savings. Both of that is with the eye cups and the objective, uh, the eyepiece cover and the objective cover. So that's a quick rundown as far as optics, still top notch optics. I'll put a link to our uh, article and review that we did on spotting scopes. Uh, and these 88 millimeter Koa spotting scopes right there at the top of 19 that we tested. I'll put a link to that down in the description. So you can go check that out, see where it ranked, where it did well uh, in, in that huge spotting scope review that we did. But it's awesome glass, nothing changed in the new one, nothing that I could see either uh, by putting these two side by side. So please drop any questions or comments down in the comments section for, you, for us. We'd love to help you out if we can I'll point you in the right direction answer any questions we might be able to help you out with that way. I will put a link to the new Koa TSN 88A and 88S down in the description for you so you can check that out for yourself if you'd like to. Thanks for watching here today and we will see you next time.